we're live and we've got um, six people watching so far so that's awesome welcome gonna be talking about um, Chico's memorial service and um, hey Devin good to see you good to see you. who else is here if you just uh, send me a little message so I can see who's here I can give you a quick welcome I appreciate so many people being here hi we tree good to see you good to see you and Roxana thank you Roxana I'm glad you're here yep we've got 13 people watching so far so this video is a video for um, information about Chico's memorial service um, the uh, group of people that are planning this include myself um, and uh, hey it's good to see you guys some days here Daryl and um, Kim great to see you guys the uh, group that's uh, planning this is myself um, from Patty Wagon Travels and also Devin from Eccentric Nomad as well as um, hey Chip as well as Russ from RV or TV uh, just a special thanks to those people who are working on this uh, memorial service for Chico now we know how Chico was Chico was a pretty simple guy so the memorial service is gonna be a pretty simple situation we're gonna meet together in Quartzsite uh, Russ from RV or TV has been gracious enough to uh, map out the GPS coordinates he's going up there this week so we'll have some information about the exact GPS coordinates but the date of the memorial service will be December 28th and it will begin at 3 p.m. Now, we're going to be doing a, a potluck on that day. Um, we asked people to bring, um, hey Joanne, uh, Ruth Ann, we asked people to bring um, a potluck dish. And you know what? If you can't bring a potluck dish, that's perfectly fine. Just show up and be present. We want you there. Um, we know that Chico would have wanted you there, and so we want you there. And for those people who can't be there, and I know there's a lot of his fans and a lot of his subscribers that unfortunately cannot make the trip to Quartzsite, that is perfectly fine. And in fact, Russ from RV or TV is scoping out the GPS site for us to host this memorial service that has the best bandwidth so that he can stream live. So even if you can't be there, you can be part of um, this memorial service with us. So thanks again to Russ. Uh, with all of his technology out there in Quartzsite, this is really very exciting. But anyway, the, um, the memorial service will actually begin with a potluck and um, introductions and hellos from all the people that do come out. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna spend some time in fellowship and celebrate uh, Chico's life. And then at about 4.30, we're going to begin to create the loving memory fire. <laughs> I named that, I'm kind of corny, I know, but. Uh, but we're gonna create the loving memory fire and hopefully um, it's going to go for a while. And really the memorial service will last for as long as people want to uh, hang around and talk about Chico and share some memories of uh, their experiences with him. Um, I know we all have quite a few of them, so I'm looking forward to meeting so many of the people that he has talked about um, on his RV travels. So it's gonna be very exciting. Um, thank you, we Tree. I, think, I thought it was a pretty great name too. But, um, so let me tell you a little bit about what we need you to do. If you are gonna be coming, um, thank you, Dreaming of RVing, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, Chip. Um, if you are going to be coming out, we would ask that you send Devin an email um, at eccentricnomad.com. Now, let me spell that for you because I can't ever get it right. So it's X S Y N T R I K at gmail.com. Let um, Devin know if you're going to be bringing a dish or if you're going to be bringing a condiment. Um, so, or if you're just going to be attending. And remember, you don't have to bring anything, we just want you present in the moment. We will be providing hot dogs and hamburgers and veggie hot dogs and veggie hamburgers um, so um, that there is some, um, you know, um, food for everybody. And um, bring your own libation because we're not going to be bringing any libation. So if you want to have some libation, uh, definitely bring that on your own. For those of you that are just joining us, um, I want to go ahead and repeat this. The memorial service for Chico from Rufus and Doofus will take place on December 28th. The GPS coordinates will be forthcoming because Russ from RV or TV is coordinating that for us. Um, he's going to provide us with GPS coordinates that have the best bandwidth because he's going to be streaming the memorial service live from Quartzsite. Um, the service will actually begin, and it's really not a service as much as it's just a get-together of 
um, all of Chico's friends and people that have fond memories of him. We're gonna get together and uh, kind of share some stories um, starting at about 3 p.m. and then we're gonna create the uh, loving memory fire um, starting at about 4.30 and that will go on forever, however long it may take. Um, you know, let's see. Um, I'm not sure I'm not sure how to do that uh, we tree but thank you um, so that will go on for as long as it may take and um, you know if it takes us up until midnight then that's what it does um, I hope there's gonna be a lot of people that do come out to court site for this and, um, and 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 have the opportunity to share their memories of Chico and um, you know what they're doing I also want to give you an update on Rufus thank you Roxanne that's a great um, a great thing and it's a little noisy here because we've got you know I'm, I'm in an RV park so there's lots going on and remember I'm coming to you from Sarah Vista Arizona um, so and it's been a wonderful place beautiful beautiful RV park beautiful sights here but here's an update on Rufus um, as you know John and Kelly who um, have been very instrumental in, um, in Chico's life uh, as uh, along with a gentleman from Ohio have been coordinating Rufus's adoption and Rufus has been adopted by an Ohio family that Chico had prearranged. And um, these folks are wonderful. And they have um, lots and lots of land. They have other animals. And so Rufus is going to have a really nice life. He's passed his vet um, certification and he's going to be flying out to Ohio um, on Wednesday. So for those of you that have been concerned about Rufus and uh, what's going on with him, he is um, all taken care of. So, and again, a special thanks to uh, John and um, Kelly, as well as uh, the other John, who is actually the adopting dad. So we're very happy about that. So let me know if you have any questions. Again, I wanna give you um, Devin's email address so that if you are gonna make it out to Quartzsite, um, we can go ahead and make sure that we have, um, we know what's, what's, what's coming. We know who's coming and what kind of food we're gonna have and whatnot. So um, it's eccentric and that's X, S Y N T R I K Nomad, all one word, at gmail.com. And then Devin will go ahead and she's going to take a list. And we're also going to have some minor signage out in Quartzsite when we get there. Um, it'll probably be a, a ribbon with uh, a little sign that says Chico. Um, and so hopefully it'll give you some direction. Remember, I've never been to Quartzsite, so I'm really, really relying on Russ, um, the Quartzsite guy to be real involved with this for us. So he's been super terrific. And Russ, if you're watching, thanks so much for all that you're doing. Um, the live stream itself, I think is gonna be awesome. So, and I'm gonna say it one more time, but let me just get a drink. Okay. So Chico's live memorial service will take place on December 28th, 2017 uh, at 3 p.m. in the afternoon mountain time. Um, Russ from RV or TV will be streaming the um, memorial service live from Quartzsite and the GPS um, coordinates of the actual location will be published on Chico's Rufus and Doofus page. It will be published on Paddy Wagon Travel's uh, Facebook page and it will also be published by Russ um, through RV or TV on his Quartzsite page and on his RV or TV page. Whew. So if we don't have enough uh, pages publishing all this then uh, uh, people must be living in a box anyway um, very excited about the um, the uh, itinerary for this um, time it's a time for us just to get together and you know have some fond memories of Chico um, get to meet each other and um, you know Chico really brought together an amazing group of people here um, in Sierra Vista and I've had the opportunity to interface with them and I'm very much looking forward to interfacing with uh, so many people uh, at Quartzsite during the memorial service. The memorial service will begin at three in the afternoon mountain time with a potluck. Uh, we ask that if you are coming to bring something, but if you can't, remember Chico was one of those guys that would say, hey, if you can't bring anything, don't, just show up, be present. And that's what we want. We want for you to be present. For those that can't be there, uh, as I said before, Russ from RVR TV will be streaming the event live so that you will you can um, add your comments and, and we'll share them with the group so that uh, you can share a little bit about your experiences and memories of Chico. Um, we will begin the Loving Memory Fire at 4.30 in the afternoon, Mountain Time. Um, yes, I'm sure he is, Kim and Daryl. I hope he is, that's for sure. 
Um, we'll begin the Loving Memory Fire at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, and that will go on for as long as it goes on. Um, you know, there will be a number of us that will be out there um, a little bit before the event. Um, we'll be hosting some meetups um, before the event as well, which is going to be exciting. And um, so I hope that you can be there. In the event that you can't, um, please know that um, we want you to be a part of this and we want you to participate. So this will be scheduled and streaming live. We will be creating an event on the Rufus and Doofus page. Um, which will be the central area for you to confirm if you're able to attend or if you'll be attending remotely. Does anybody have any questions? Is there anything I can answer for you while I'm on the live stream? Was the information sufficient? I'm seeing no comments, so I think it was. The other thing that I wanted to remind you how are you doing? Oh, thank you, WeTree. You know, it's been uh, it's been it's been a little bit a bit of an adjustment. The outcome uh, was certainly not what I expected when I came out to Sierra Vista, um, and there's been a lot of um, of moments of sadness. But I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, I'm celebrating Chico's life um, because he was a great guy, and um, you know, uh, he put up with a lot of pain and suffering over this last year. Or so. Roxanne, no, he didn't. He didn't have any, um, uh, any local family. He had family in Italy. He had lots of RV friends and lots of friends from Florida and lots of high school friends and friends across the country. It's amazing the amount of friends he had. Uh, I talked to Devin Wheatree and Devin's doing well. She's a lot like I am. You know, I think kind of walking through this a little bit, uh, you know, trying to be, uh, you know, um, processing. I, I guess that's the whole thing. It was processing because it was as much as we probably did expect it. It was probably more unexpected than anything else. So um, when I drove out here to uh, be in Sierra Vista with him, I expected that we were going to be doing some recovery and then, you know, hopefully get back on the road. But that was not um, what was meant to be. So um, an update again on Rufus, just so that you're aware, is that Rufus has been adopted by a family in Ohio and we'll be traveling out to Ohio. Um, great job considering the grief you're all going through. Thank you so much, Joanne, I appreciate that. So Rufus will be traveling out to Ohio on um, um, Wednesday and um, we'll be joining his new family then. And so special thanks to again, John and Kelly, as well as John in Ohio for adopting um, a Rufus, which was prearranged by Chico. So uh, Chico will know that, Chico, uh, that Rufus has a great home. I want to thank you all so much for the comments on the video, um, the video that I put up um, the day after Chico passed. Um, the comments have been amazing, the outpouring of love and support. Um, so, you know, it's been really quite, uh, quite amazing. He does have family in Italy, and uh, we have been in touch with them. Um, and of course, they're going through their mourning process as well and grieving. Uh, but they're sweet people in Italy. Um, he didn't have any family here in the States, but he did have a lot of um, wonderful people from the RV community. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this, and I want to say thank you so much for joining me today, and uh, we'll talk later.